Jak się masz? Hello and welcome in one of the secret spots. I'm not gonna reveal where I am. One of the secret spots on the coastline near Ilfracum. Beautiful place. It's accessible only uh, during the lowest tides. Uh, right now, today, in about Fifty minutes time uh, supposed to be the low one meter tight. I hope I uh, check it right because if not I'm gonna be cut off and then I will have a problem to go back up. As you can see I'm surrounded by not very nice cliffs. Uh, you cannot really climb on those cliffs. But let's see what's beautiful in here. Uh, on the way here, there was actually a few cuts like that and uh, there is actually like a, a number of very, very small beaches on the way here, but we just came, I mean, we will enter in a second the largest of, of, of it and yeah, the way here is absolutely beautiful, I mean, look, those are the passages I have to go through <laughs> to get in here uh, well I obviously didn't crawl through that hole <laughs> that's just a joke but yeah the place is absolutely amazing and full of uh, beautiful uh, formations carved by the water I mean look at that tunnels passages We cannot get there? No, we can't. Anyway... Let's explore that place. As you can see, the cliffs are not very nice to climb. And yeah, that's just another tiny, tiny bit. As you can see, a few landslides going down here, so that would be even a bit crazy to climb. And yeah. The reason I don't want to tell you where it is because that is really, really... This trip has to really be timed properly. Otherwise, you're just gonna go back in a waste uh, deep water or at least knee deep water. It has a lot of places where water just enter and they uh, bit lower than the rest of terrain. So yeah, it can be pretty quick flooded. And now we're trying to get into the main spot. However, it's not as easy as you may expect because you see the crazy shape of the rocks in here and they still slippery. <laughs> there is a lot of algae growing and stuff like that. And yeah, we have to go over those rocks very carefully. Uh, and it just starts raining, which won't help at all. <laughs> I think we have to hide against the cliff. Oh, it's a nice passage here. Yes, it is. Oh no, <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> so we have to go back. I don't like that rain. Why? 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 Just when Polish explorer is out, it has to start raining. I got that bad luck last three days actually.
All right. Okay. We are somewhere, but not exactly where we want to be. Let me see. Yes, you can. Oh, somebody was here already before me. I can see the footprints. Here we are, you see? The beach is relatively flat, so the water here will climb very, very fast. I'm just gonna put my stone measure as usual. And as you can see, is down there is deeper, and here where I'm standing right now is higher, and you can simply be just cut off. if you're not very careful. I can see some more prints. Footprints. I wonder what who we're gonna meet in here. Those of you who are local, uh, definitely my friend from YouTube, Sandpa, uh, Sandpit. Uh, those of you already probably know where am I or where I am look at those beautiful passages this is just amazing oh yeah look at that oh somebody's flip-flops <laughs> oh a little rock pool oh and this is what we lack in Ilfracum beautiful sandy beach why we don't have that in Ilfrakum? Yeah, a beautiful place. Further, uh, it's not really a sense to go, because I know in fact that uh, in that direction uh, the sea comes all the way up to the cliff. But yeah, look at that. And here you can explore all those formations. And here is a massive landslide zone. For a long time I was hoping that uh, that landslide zone is uh, not very steep and is under such an angle that you can still climb. But now I know you can't. It is nice in here. Ah, so they came on a kayak, looks like. Beautiful. Okay, we are directly under the landslide zone and it doesn't look so steep and bad, really. I mean, if not climbing, then uh, I'm pretty sure at least you could survive on that hill till the next tide, in a case it cuts you. And yeah, just the top, the very top bit in this place seems to be, I would say, still climbable. But, you know, <laughs> I'm not an expert in on the issue. Uh, I mean, yeah, the last, the last uh, solution climbing that hill would be, I guess. Yeah, beautiful cliff, just take a look. And you can see quite fresh pieces of rock splitting off it.
Oh, here is a more. Yeah, that whole cliff is quite unstable and not very solid rocks here. But it's a, sh it's a shame really because the beach could be pretty, pretty useful. Absolutely. I mean, it is big. And here you can see like all around here those holes in the rocks which indicates to me that something was buried in there and exposed by the water and like I said there is not really a much of a sense to go further because yeah, that part of the coastline has sort of like a ridges uh, sticking into the ocean and sometimes they still flood it and you have to jump over. It's not a problem when they just like now here, what I'm standing on, when they sharp and the grip is very good. But some of the bits, as you can see in here, actually quite a lot of it, is smooth smooth by, by the water and sleek, very sleek, even if it's not raining, if it's not wet, you still may sleep and fall painfully on your bum or something else. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna give a check if the water still goes down and then we're gonna see what else we can do in here now you can see how flat this is so each 10 centimeters water up <laughs> really translate like a few meters extra of a land taken you have to be very very careful in here You can see a lot of jellyfish that been trapped. We recently got quite a warm temperatures and yeah, there was like a plenty of them in the water. Well, what can I say? That's life. Not all of them managed to go back together with the light. Uh, I cannot say if they are able to survive another six hours without the water or will they just die and that's the end of the story. Yeah, plenty. Look at that. The water seems to be the water level seems to be still quite okay. However, yeah, I'm I think I'm gonna set up marker anyway, just to make sure. You see even here, like a little pond. Let me check at least the last bit how that looks like. Okay, that still looks okay. Not bad. All right.
can see the water coming slowly up and up. So it's gonna be about time to start retreating as I'm for first time in this place actually. And I don't know exactly how it works here. Uh, unfortunately, my bloody drone, I don't know what's about this place. That happened already third time. Uh, log out from uh, DJI account and I couldn't fly. I mean, I did fly, but it only goes uh, 10 meters up or 15 meters up and about 30 meters away from you. So there will be not a lot of uh, beautiful footage from that place. Uh, I'm sorry, but maybe that's better. We, it will keep it in a bigger secret. Uh, I mean, not that I don't want you to come here, but yeah, it is really a dangerous place if it cuts you off. Right now I can see two paddle boarders behind me. Uh, that is probably the safest way to come here. So you got some transportation with you and you can just sail away if you need. So I will just show you uh, a little bit from my way back. It's a nice, nice path between the rocks. I see you on another exploration. I hope uh, drone won't play anymore and the weather will be nice and beautiful. And yeah, right now I'm curious if I'm not already cut uh, out from civilization. So <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel and high five. Look at that, absolutely amazing, beautiful, round sea glass. This is one of a find. Wow, that's gonna be a, this is like a finding a gem. This really is like a finding a gem among the sea glasses. Hopki, hopki, careful. I just, there were just people with the, you know, like wetsuits, yeah, life vests, and helmets. Are they keeping? And looks like they just walk. They okay. just walk, and they don't bother about if the wave come or not. Yeah. All right, chutku. Chutku been already in a tunnel. Okay. He's getting a bit excited. I know. And then he he makes the fast moves. But yeah, like I said, it's flooded at the at the end. Yeah. So we cannot do a lot. We cannot go to Freshwater Bay. Hmm? Well, no, I tried. I tried and I climb on the rocks and they are, they all like the ones in uh, Fowlers. 
There is undercut on the other side. Good boy, good boy. Take your time. Easy. Nice and easy. And here we are in the cave. That's about it, Chutki. That's about all we can do. All right. Chutku is with me today. Oi, oi, oi. Easy, easy. <laughs> Slippery. Chutku. Smile. Come on. Yep, let's go. With a little bit of luck, if we don't have normal shoes, but wetsuits or swimming suits or whatever, we could just carry on going. At the end of that, at the end of that cave, uh, is uh, like a little pond. I just don't want to get in, but it's not very deep. It's pretty much like ankle deep. So yeah, and then you enter the freshwater bay itself. <laughs> 